Indian Coin View Presents Indian Laws That Coin Collectors Must Know Numismatics or Coin Collection is one of the most popular hobby around the world. In India also there are a lot of people who are interested in this. Some people consider it as a matter of interest. Others consider it as an investment and for some, it is a form of business. Whatever may be the reason, there are certain laws that exists in every country, which is created for its governance and citizens are supposed to know and follow them in whatever work they are indulged in. Hence, in this video, I am analyzing certain basic laws that exist in India, whose knowledge will be highly beneficial for every kind of person that has an association with numismatics. Watch full video to know the laws and find out whether every kind of action you do in association with numismatic hobby is permissible under law or not. In India, there are mainly four kinds of statutes that any person with numismatics hobby has to look upon. A. The Coinage Act of 2011. B. Criminal Laws. C. The Antiquities and Art Treasures Act, 1972. D. Tax Laws The Coinage Act of 2011 The Coinage Act of 2011 is the current law in India that talks about minting of coins by government for usage in India. It talks about the establishment of mints by government, how the coins are to be designed, how its features are to be determined, coins of what value can be issued etc. The law clearly gives about offences in association with coins in section 12 of the Act. The offences include using of any metal as a currency, except by authority of government, melting coins, hoarding coins etc. Committing any offence under this law may attract a jail term that may extend it up to seven years. Before this statue, the laws on the matters related to coins were, a. The Metal Tokens Act, 1889, b. The Coinage Act, 1906, c. The Bronze Coin, Legal Tender, Act, 1918, d. The Currency Ordinance, 1940, and, e. The Small Coins, Offences, Act, 1971. Criminal Laws in India, Indian Penal Code and Criminal Procedure Code contains certain sections that talk about procedure and punishment that may be attracted with misuse of coins. Chapter 12, Sections 230-244, of Indian Penal Code clearly talks about offences that may be occurred in relation to coins. As per the law, any kind of malpractice such as creating fake coin, altering the value and nature of coin, passing and possessing the counterfeits etc. is considered to be an offence. The law talks about coins and Indian coins separately, hence bringing the coins from other countries, old coins from Indian princely state, British coins etc. under its ambit. The Criminal Procedure Code talks about the way in which these offences are handled. Criminal offence related to coins attract a punishment jail term between 3 to 10 years along with fines, depending on the nature of offence. The Antiquities and Art Treasures Act, 1972. This law is not only associated with coins but also with any kind of antiques in India. The main purpose of the law is to regulate the export trade in antiquities and art treasures, to provide for the prevention of smuggling of, and fraudulent dealings in, antiquities, to provide for the compulsory acquisition of antiquities and art treasures for preservation in public places. As per this law, certain antiques are to be registered with the government if they age more than 100 years. Only the person who has obtained a license from government will have the right to sell such things in India. Offences under this Act may attract a punishment of a jail term between six months to three years along with fine. Till 1980, coins were also coming under the ambit of this legislation, but later by a notification, the central government has excluded it. Hence, there is no necessary of registration of old coins a person has in collection. However, for sending old coins outside India, a person still needs a non-objection certificate from Archaeological Survey of India and Reserve Bank of India if they age more than 100 years. Tax Laws The Income Tax Act of India, in certain circumstances, depending upon the nature of transactions, consider coin collections as something taxable and return has to be filed. 
This will be depending on factors such as the way in which coin is acquired, the cost of acquisition, value of coin etc. Also as per the recent goods and service tax laws, the transaction in relation to coins for numismatics purposes are taxable at a rate of 5%. The import of same also attracts a customs duty of 10%. Also is certain circumstance, when the coins are posted from outside India, a customs duty of 35% and IGST of 5% may attract. Along with the same, certain other laws such as foreign exchange management, export and import of currency, regulations, will attract to the actions taken by coin collectors who are into international transactions. Hence, before doing any kind of swaps or purchase of coins inside and outside India, it will be beneficial to look into these laws that are discussed here so that your collection will be safe and secured from every angle. If you find this video helpful in some way, like the video. Also do subscribe to the YouTube channel and click the bell icon so that you will not be missing any videos on coins and currencies. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.